Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing fantastic today. I'm super pumped today because we're finally finishing up the indoor aviary project. Last time we finished the frame and today we're going to aviscape. I've already added some gorgeous branches to the aviary for a natural feel and a better integration with the background. But before we dive into that, we need to build a stand for the food and water ball. I found a perfect spot right by the window where I can work on my videos while enjoying my birds. My computer is right behind that window so I've got a good view of the birds. To make the stand I used some material from my old aviary and constructed a sturdy triangle for the base. I didn't want it to be too big, so there wouldn't be any branches above the platform, keeping the food and water clean from darkness. With some screws the platform is ready and now it's time to add some decorative touches. One feature I wanted to make was a beautiful waterfall. However, I found one in the seal section that fits perfectly within the aviary. Birds love running water and hopefully they will use the waterfall to bait. Just make sure that any water feature you install has easy cleaning access. You will need to drain and clean the water inside weekly to prevent bacteria growth. Next, let's talk plants. Since I've found that indoor plants don't grow as well, I've opted for some artificial ones and some sturdy grass species. The grass species can handle indoor conditions well and can easily be swapped out and I can let them recover outdoors every now and then. And of course we need some branches. For finches almost any branch will do, as long as it's clean and completely dried out. So preferably no freshly cut branches. Make sure to include high differences to allow the birds to use all their flight muscles to get around. By the way, if you're a fan of my bird themed hoodies and t-shirts, like the one I'm wearing, be sure to check out my store. I finally fixed the URL, so it's now Mr. Aviary and not a weird number. I'm also working on some new designs, which I will release soon. And if you join my Discord server, I will be dropping a discount code for my new designs. Don't miss out this opportunity. A lot of you are already participating and I've already seen some cool pictures of different birds and aviaries. I'm still figuring out what to put on the floor. A plastic cover prevents most water from reaching the floor, however when it gets moist between the floor and plastic, it can't escape and will make things even worse. So for now I just use newspapers with sand on top. If you guys have any suggestions on how to protect the floor, let me know in the comments. Last but not least, let's talk about the window. We don't want the birds flying into it. So I've come up with an awesome hack. I drew some fun circles on the window using soap. It's easy to wash off and change. And in no time the birds will realize it's just a window. I've also dropped the blinds to help them get used to it. And until now it works fantastically. It's wise to repeat this when young birds will fledge. And now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. The grand reveal. A 
it's time to release the birds into their new home. Let's start with our two quills. They've just moved into their new indoor quill cage, but they will love the aviary too. I have a big quill cage available now for some new birds. So I'm keeping my eyes open for more birds. I haven't decided yet between a different species of quills or a new variety of Chinese petal quills. Next up are the golden finches. Some of them got really bold, even though I've got them some extra fruits and vegetables and some extra vitamin D. For the rest they are super healthy, so hopefully it's just a delayed molt. Within 10 minutes the golden finches are making themselves comfortable already. They are already taking a bath and they seem to feel at home. Both the quails and the golden finches are really exploring their new surroundings. I'm planning to add another species to the mix, but I can't quite decide which one. So I'm leaving it up to you guys to vote on my discord channel. Check it out and let me know your thoughts. In a couple of weeks I will add the nest boxes. I'm just waiting a bit longer to make sure the weather warms up a bit and I don't want them to breed too early. I'm very excited to see if they are just as successful as last year. For now I really enjoy the colony breeding of the golden finches and also have a lot more success this way. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you are building an aviary as well and maybe share it on our new discord. Go check out the new discord so we can chat over there. If you don't want to miss any update subscribe and hit that bell to get notified if I upload again. It's free and it also helps this channel out a lot. See you in the next video and remember to stay happy and always love your birds. Bye bye!